everybody. How's it going? Stephen Powell here of Lion of Light Ministries. Oh, I just uh, want to bring you this, this prophetic word here before I go into service tonight. I'm in West Virginia right now, a place called Fairmont, West Virginia. I'm fixing to go into service here in just a few minutes, but I just have this powerful prophetic word I just had to release um, to you guys here uh, over Facebook Live, and, and I'm on Periscope as well before I went into the service. I've been seeing this uh, a lot of visions lately. I've been seeing a lot of visions, as, as some of you know. Maybe you've seen some of the uh, the articles that have been released lately, some of the videos that have been released. I keep seeing the Lord Jesus walk throughout America in my visions of late. I keep seeing the Lord walk through, and he's walking through as, as a priest, and he's pouring water on the land. And as he pours water on the land, the water turns to blood, and that was the third sign of Moses in Exodus chapter 4 that he was given. And a generation ago, a man named William Branham, he was given two signs, and he was given a commissioning like unto Moses' commissioning. That's what the angel even said when the angel came uh, in his 1946 commissioning. He said, as Moses was given two signs, so will you be given two signs. He says there's going to be, this is what the angel told William Branham, he said there's going to be a movement, a movement of power, miracles, signs, and wonders, and in particular healing is going to go around the world. And he says... The, the movement of power, okay, that will begin now, that will begin in your day, will, will, he used these words, bring on the second coming of Christ. And we're still in the momentum of that movement today. There has been a restoration of the gifts in the church. There has been a restoration of the ministry, of the power of the Holy Spirit. But it's going to another level this year. There's just such a glory right now. I can't even begin to express to you the kind of glory that I'm sensing, the kind of glory that I'm experiencing, not just me, there's others, friends of mine, people in the ministry. There's such a glory right now. It's unbelievable. Uh, healing is just breaking out, you guys. Signs and wonders are breaking out. Like, I'm at Walmart today. I'm just trying to buy, like, you know, toothpaste or, like, hair gel, and there's people getting healed, and I'm I'm reading their mail. I can't walk by people without just seeing you know, the the infection, like this one lady I walked past and just saw this infection that her, her daughter had and I saw the scoliosis in her back. I could see the scur curvature in her spine, almost like an x-ray vision. And I could see on her right leg, you know, this is just in Walmart today, I could see on her right leg how the circulation is not working correctly and uh, how, how she had a major issue with the right leg at the bottom of her right leg and she's like blown away she's looking at me like how do you know this like she lifts up her pant leg and she's got this big scar or this big uh you know thing on her leg and it's caused from the lack of circulation we just pray for her to impart the love of jesus but like i'm just trying to buy toothpaste and it's just like it's breaking out of me <laughs> like it's just breaking out the glory of god's breaking out right now but it's not just me you know, I'm a leader in the body of Christ, uh, you know, representation of an entire body, okay? God's going to break out through you. Get ready. God is is, is going to break out through you. And just start leaning into it. Start leaning into it with your faith. Start expecting the miraculous. Expect a miracle harvest. Uh, expect the promises to come to pass. Begin to bring those promises before you again, those words that he's spoken in times past, and begin to call them forth. Begin to step into this and in, into them in this hour. This is an hour of harvest. This is an hour of acceleration in the harvest, in the glory. But I keep seeing the Lord Jesus in my visions. He's walking throughout America, and he's preparing the ground right now. Okay, he's preparing the ground right now um, in, an ex in an exceptional way. And you're going to see outpouring. You're going to see overflow. You're going to see outpouring. And he's going to prepare the ground with his own blood as well. His own blood. I'm seeing the power of the blood of Jesus. The power of the blood of Jesus being released right now. The blood of Jesus. And we're praying. We're, we're, we're believing. And I know this is going to happen. We're, we're, but we're praying. We're believing that the power, the resurrection power that's in the blood of Jesus, the redemptive power that's in the blood of Jesus would be poured out on this nation, would be poured out on the states, would be poured out on this people, that people would get saved, that people would uh, be set free from their sins. We know that we've been set free by the blood of Jesus, but the living reality of that would, would come 
impacting people's lives, would would hit entire neighborhoods, would hit entire cities, like we saw in the Welsh Revival, that would, would hit entire families, entire people groups. The 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 power in the in the redemption, the power in the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I'm seeing the Lord, but here's another vision um, that I keep seeing. I keep seeing the Lord Jesus walk throughout the land, and He's saying, Stephen, I'm challenging the Pharaoh spirit right now. I'm challenging the Pharaoh spirit over America. And you might ask, what is the Pharaoh spirit? The Pharaoh spirit is the spirit that rises up even through a culture, even through a political class, even through a Hollywood elite culture, even through a news media culture, even through a voice that you hear in the culture, in the people. That Pharaoh spirit is a spirit that rises up and says, I will challenge God. Who is this God? Moses, we don't recognize your God. Who is this Lord you speak of? Who is this God that you speak of? And the Pharaoh spirit rises up with that presumptuousness and that pride and says, I'm God over these lands. Because that's what, you know, Pharaoh in their, you know, demonic religion, that's what he was. They declared him to be God among the people. And there's a spirit uh, that's been at work in America and this spirit has said America is mine these people are mine the finances are mine but God is rising up I see the Lord Jesus walking through beginning to walk through he's walking all up and down the east coast He's walking through New York. He's walking through Pennsylvania. He's walking through Connecticut. He's walking down through Washington, D.C. and Maryland. He's walking through Virginia, West Virginia, the Carolinas. He's walking up and down. Uh, I see him on the East Coast so strongly. But uh, I believe it's going to break out all over America. This is for all of America. But I keep seeing him on, on these regions here in the East Coast. And he's walking and he's carrying the staff. He's carrying the staff of Moses. Get ready. You're going to see the ministry of Moses come forth in 2017. You're going to see the ministry of Moses come forth. The ministry of Moses, you understand, we use the name of, of a man that's attached to a biblical story. And that's to attach to things, amazing things that Moses did in the Bible. We use that. The Holy Spirit uses the picture, the, the symbology of the man Moses. But understand, this is the ministry of Jesus being done in and through a company of people, being done through his own body in the earth. Okay, understand that. But we're going to see the ministry of Jesus come forth through his body this year as the restoration of God's glory comes again for America. 2017 is the year of the restoration of the glory of God. And you're going to see it. You're going to see Jesus begin to move through a company of people in wonder working. He's going to work wonders. He's going to work signs. He's going to bring down the wonders of heaven, the wonder working of heaven. He's going to bring it down on Pharaoh's head. He's going to bring the weight of the glory of God down on Pharaoh's head in this next season, and Pharaoh's head's going to bow. The Bible says, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. And we're going to see it. We're going to see a humbling of that Pharaoh spirit this year. And we're going to see a breakout of signs, wonders, and miracles, but wonder working. The Lord says, wonder working. Get ready for wonders to be worked before your eyes. Get ready for the type of wonders to be worked that will not be able to be ignored. They will not be able to be counted out. They will not be able to be explained away and, and wrapped up in a wad of controversy and set aside and just ignored by the news establishment. Get ready. The type of wonders. If you had a revival breakout in your church and the dead were being raised every night in your church, even CNN would not be able to keep that out, <laughs> would not be able to ignore that. And the Lord says, don't be afraid of the, uh, the misperception, the misunderstanding, the false uh, representation. Don't be afraid of these things. When the Lord begins to work on, it begins to move on you, church, begins to move on you, pastor, begins to move on you, evangelist. When the Lord begins to move on you with this wonder-working anointing, don't be afraid of being misunderstood. You're going to be misunderstood. You're going to be misrepresented. But the kind of glory that's going to be on his wonder workers in this season, even the misrepresentation, um, even the, uh, 
the misunderstanding is going to be turned around for your good. It will ultimately be used for your launching, for, for your unleashing, for your breakout. The Lord's saying, I'm going to cause my wonder workers to break out in this season. I'm giving, I'm putting in their hands the wonders. And I want to read this scripture to you. Exodus chapter 4, verse 21. The Lord said to Moses, when you go back to Egypt, see that you do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in your hand. But I will harden his heart so that he will not let the people go. So what is the Lord saying? The Lord's saying, I'm putting the wonders in your hands. I'm telling you, there's such a, a wonder-working anointing right now, working in the hands of God's people. It's unbelievable right now. I, uh, You know, there's wonders that are working through my hands lately. I've been surprised at the discerning of spirits, the wonders that have been working through my hands lately. I've just been blown away, you guys. And I'm just, I'm just one of many. Okay, I'm just one of many. I believe that whatever God uses me in, he's, He'll use me as an example. He, he'll use me as someone to just display something, to demonstrate something. But that any, many others would be encouraged and would rise up in the same anointing, no matter what field you're in. But I was just, uh, you know, driving up to the, into the parking lot for the meeting last night, you guys. And I got out of the car and, and I met a lady. There was a lady and I shook her hand. I said, hey, my name's Stephen. How, how you doing? I was welcoming to the meeting. And the moment I grabbed her hand, I felt like fire shoot through the nerves of my hand. And I said, I, I mean, without even hardly saying any, anything to her, I said, you have a, a problem. Um, it's probably fibromyalgia and it inflames your nerves. Is that correct? And she said, yes. Yeah. She was like shocked. I was like, I bind that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And uh, I just, God began to work his wonders there, right in the parking lot. <laughs> I hadn't even got into the meeting yet. That lady, I believe, was healed last night. She said she didn't feel any of that pain, any of those symptoms anymore. And uh, just such powerful discernment, wonder working, but even in the hands. Um, that I've been able to discern evil spirits lately in my hands. Uh, there's an itching that comes suddenly. Um, when I feel the demonic and I break that power by the blood of Jesus and, and the power of God's just released, I can feel uh, the heat in my hands. I can feel the healing anointing in my hands. And I can tell the, the moment someone's being healed, the moment someone's being healed. I laid hands on a, a precious, you know, she looked to be about 10 years old, 12 years old, something like that, girl last night. And she was going deaf in both her ears. And I could feel the fire of God just flowing from my hands. I could feel it, and uh, her ears just began to open. I mean, there was no, you know, hooping and hollering, you know, for, you know, for for forever, you know. There was no ah, and I, you know, it's just the fire of God by the glory. And this girl just began to tears began to stream down her eyes. The tears just began to stream down her eyes. She said, "I can hear, I can hear." And that was last night. The miracles are easy right now. The anointing is so powerful. It's so strong. Um, I'm just so encouraged, you guys, by what I'm hearing right now, by what I'm seeing right now. God is moving in His glory. Amen? But God is challenging just a couple of prophetic bites here for you, okay? And then I gotta go. <laughs> God is challenging the Pharaoh's spirit in 2017 over America. Satan is not God in America. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King in America. There will be a demonstration of that. I believe one of the greatest demonstrations of that in 2017. The Lord says that the baby that we've been promised, I keep seeing the baby coming forth this year, being birthed this year. The baptism of birth, the Lord says, the baptism of birth I give to you. I keep seeing the baby come forth this year. That's the revival that we've been promised. The revival that William J. Seymour prophesied in 1909. The revival that Smith Wigglesworth prophesied in 1947 before he went home. The greatest revival. The revival that would never end. The greatest revival that America would ever see. We've been promised this baby. We thought it was coming forth in 2008. There are many people that thought it was beginning to happen in 2008. And uh, 
when that baby didn't come forth, there were many people that could not overcome the discouragement, the the discouragement of their heart. And they, they think they think that that baby was lost forever. And there's many people still to this day, they just don't have hope that that could actually happen still. I'm telling you, it's, it, it's returning in 2017. I believe it with all my heart. Um, but the Lord keeps saying, the baby that you thought was lost, it's coming forth. <laughs> the baby that you thought was lost, it's coming forth. The move of God that you thought was lost, it's coming forth. Oh, it's going to be a move of the glory. It's going to be a move of the glory. It's a move of the glory. Hey, it's unstoppable. Amen. It's unstoppable. But uh, the Lord says the wonder workers. I'm going to cause wonders to rain down. The Lord says that many of the same angels that worked with Charles G. Finney in the Second Great Awakening are ready. The angels are ready to work um, with revivalists that are going to spark and ignite the Third Great Awakening. I'm telling you. I've been having one of these angels interact with me the last few days, and this angel just walks in such a holy glory, such a fear of the Lord. There's such a strong presence. And uh, it's just very encouraging, extremely encouraging. <laughs> hey. I'm just so under it right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm just so under it right now. I can't. I feel like I can't even hardly talk. I feel like I just want to take off my shoes right now because the ground is just holy. Oh, shaka labaya. That's what I've been seeing. I've been seeing the Lord pour out the water. That's the outpouring of the Spirit. And then pour out the blood and prepare the ground. That's what the angel told Bob Jones when he visited him in 2006. The breakthrough angel. He said, I've come to prepare the ground for America's greatest revival. And that's what I've been seeing. I've been seeing the Lord prepare the ground. What what happens when the Lord prepares a ground? Why is preparing the ground significant? Because when the ground was prepared for Moses' day of visitation, the burning bush, and there was that burning angel, that angel of fire, um, he had to take off his shoes. When the ground is prepared, you have no choice. You have to recognize the move of God. You have to recognize the glory, and you have to show reverence. The kind of reverence, the kind of glory, holy glory that showed up in Acts 5, where whether you wanted to or not, you had to recognize the glory that was moving. That's what God is going to do in 2017. There are going to be many people. Let me just tell you right now. This is a word right now. There are many people that will see and will fear the Lord with what God begins to do this year in America. And it will be the glory of God. It will be the joy of the Lord. It will be the greatest thing they've been looking for, right? But there are other people that will look upon what the Lord is doing in 2017. It'll be such an awesome glory that he begins to unfold this year. That people that will see and do not understand the Lord, do not understand our Lord, and do not understand the work of His glory, they will see and they will fear and they will tremble and they will be in awe of our God. But for sons and daughters that have been prepared, it won't be, you know, the terror of the Lord. <laughs> it will be the greatest presence for intimacy, the greatest presence for a baptism into the flame, a baptism into the power. Mm. So I want to ask you to pray. Um, pray for us. Pray for me. Pray for my friend Todd Bentley. Um, pray for others. There's many others, you know, um, that we're connected to. I've been interacting with Jeff Jansen lately, and I believe he's another just incredible general of revival and awakening and glory. And we need you to pray for us. I want you to pray for my brother Todd Bentley. God's going to use him powerfully in this. I just saw Amy Champ on there, I believe. I want you to pray for... Jesse and Amy Champ, uh, they're going to be used powerfully in this. They're being used right now. I want you to pray for Jesse's brother, Charlie. He's being used powerfully in this. Monday Martin, pray for some of the, the new ones that are coming on the scene. and Pray for the generals and pray for the revivalists right now. Because what God is, is going to do is going to be so precious. It's going to be so powerful. And we don't want the enemy to have... 
any influence in this. But I, I believe this move's unstoppable. I believe no matter what the enemy does, he's not going to be able to stop this glory that God's releasing for America and for the nations in 2017. Hey. Whew. Wow. Such a heavy glory. So I'm going to have to let you guys go. <laughs> i got to go to service right now and try to function <laughs> if I can. I mean, this could be one of those nights where I just lay on the carpet and just let God do what he wants to do. I mean, it's just so powerful right now. But just bless you guys. Be encouraged. If you want to find out more about my ministry, you can go to www.lionoflight.org. We have uh, some fresh articles, some fresh writing that we've released, fresh prophecy. Um, check out our website. The, the, the third outpouring, uh, excuse me, the third sign of outpouring for America, which has now been featured on Elijah Lewis, Spirit Fuel, as well as Charisma News over the last few days. Um, that's on our website. It's right there. If you go to www.lineoflight.org, you can check out that new writing. There's also some new videos on there as well that will bless your life, help you in your spiritual walk. Some miracle testimonies and some prophecy videos on there. And we're going to be producing much more video content coming up. We're going to be releasing videos, new videos every week to help you with your spiritual walk, encourage you, release the word of the Lord, all that, all that good stuff. So stay in tune. Check out our website. And uh, we'll be broadcasting the service as well tonight, too. So tune in. It'll probably be on Facebook Live, though. For all you watching on Periscope, good to see you guys again. I know I haven't been on in a little while, but the, 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 the service tonight will probably be broadcast on Facebook Live. So just check out our Facebook Live tonight and tune in and join us. All right? God bless you guys. We'll talk to you next time.